Welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War England Campaign Episode the 3rd with me, Squawker. And when we left off, we had had a victory and a defeat. We were defeated at Rennes because I overestimated my chances and therefore I have now plunged this area into a bit of a weird unstable thing but then again it's not going well for the French as one of their captains has literally walked out of the castle with several troops so um, sucks to be them uh, but a few of them have spilled into near Cayenne so we need to deal with them as well we're also looking at expanding our infantry recruitment options especially now that we control York which we are in the process of converting into a modern bailey should the Scottish try to attack us and that's really where we're up to. We're sending our spy to have a little look at Carnavion as well to see what our chances of taking that town are. Uh, looks like it has actually turned into a town. I think it was a castle or is it a castle? I don't know. Richard, can we have a look at Carnavion today and let's see what our chances are. It might be... Ah, oh, Carnavion is a castle in fact. So, what do we know about Carnavion then? The garrison is made up of Welsh spears, Welsh longbows and peasants. I suspect longbows will be quite effective in a defense, especially of a castle. But then again, it's just wooden walls. Hmm. We need to send a somewhat determined force to do a Carnavian. But I think we should now try and find out what we can find out about the Scottish. They still remain my primary target for conquest within this campaign. But at the same time, I must keep an eye on the French. I do not trust them one bit. Especially now that they're becoming destabilized, they could do something desperate. Lord Lawrence Bedell, will you continue making your way into Holy Roman territory so we Without can establish question, relationships sire. with everyone else? I also want to make sure I just have an eye on the Pope. Who, uh, Tomorrow's I don't know. journey planned. Has Purple out, changed his opinion on anything? Well, it shifted quite a bit. He's alright with us, but he's getting a little crappy with France and Scotland at least, so that'll work in my favour. Still remain one of his favourites as well. And I still have a cardinal installed as well, but uh, it could really go anywhere, anyway for which one gets chosen. That's fine by me for now. I guess I should make sure I have a steady supply of priests in the area though, so perhaps your higher and KN should be on the on the to-do list quite soon. Sire. I'm sending Cecilia up to Scotland as well to see if we can secure some sort of diplomatic tie with the Scottish as well, If just because once more I'm hedging my diplomatic bets uh, between the French and the Scots, so we'll see which one proves more fruitful for me. But we just need to administrate this turn before we move on, so York is a uh, cannot do any retraining unfortunately, because I guess we don't have the right equipment. So I'll wait until we have the Motten Bailey set up and we might be able to retrain some of these units. Nottingham could work on some male knights who may be useful for taking Carnavian. But really we're going to need some more infantry. But right now Nottingham is working on improving its food production. London, I don't want to recruit town militia. And a diplomat will not be necessary for this point in time either. So it looks like we're okay up there. In terms of Cayenne though, let's get some Hobilars or male knights. I think male knights will be a stronger option and since we are, you know, I have money because I've recently received a payment from the council noble so we may as well use it. Uh, Samuel Black, service. I'm having you moving into France because we're going to try and trade off their wine because, well, foreign economics. Except this is blokes in the way, right, walk past Journeying him then. He doesn't mean you any harm, he's too busy having a go at the French. Imagine if they lose Angier to rebels. Be disastrous. Opening a new trade lane, my liege. Excellent. We can trade within French lands. This will be most beneficial to me. All right, keep on doing what you need to do, Ben. Cayenne, you're working on what must happen as well. So yeah, every territory is happy and up to something. So we're going to move on to the next turn and observe what's going on in the world. <laughs> So the Council of Noble seemed a little annoyed that I didn't do very well at Rennes, so uh, they want me to have another go at it. They're giving me a generous time limit of 15 turns, though, so it must be done by turn 18. I can work to that deadline, and I didn't bother dealing with those rebels this turn. 
Looks like the French are going to try and deal with their rebel problem as well. Uh, uh, end of turn report, by the way. It looks more positive. We actually made a profit. But France has now become the world leader in military. That could be a minor concern. Um, we're doing alright in everywhere else, so... Um, I mean, at least we're in the top five for finance and production, so... Looks like we're going to at least have a good economy. In terms of construction, London has established mines and Nottingham some land clearance. And recruitment, we have male knights from Nottingham and Cayenne available for my usage. Right. Be gone! You are not my liege! I know I'm not your liege, but I'm going to kill you anyway. Right. Robert. Orders. Robert, the not quite prince of England. Take some Orders. archers, my take Lord. some spears, Orders. and take your shiny new knights to kick out these rebels, please. To battle it is, then, Let's sire. put these knights to, uh, to the test. I'll give them a test drive. See what they're like on the field. Perfect field exercise. And then once Cayenne's military is a little bigger as well, we'll make our move on the then. Here we It is Robert against Captain Lucrin. We outnumber him by just over 100 men. And what he is bringing is Sergeant Spearmen. I guess they're stronger than your average levy spear. Armoured Sergeants. That does not sound very fun to fight. And crossbows. They should be able to be dispatched by the cavalry. Okay. This could be a little tricky, but the Sergeant Spearmen apparently don't have very good armor, so they may struggle against my spears. I mean, maybe they're just called Sergeants because... Oh, wait, Sergeants are professional. Fuck. Fine arm. Oh, well, Archers and the Generals should be able to provide enough flank pressure to make this battle go my way. So, Strength Fisher is 5 to 4, like I said, so let's try and not spoil that and make sure Robert gains a new Command Star, because that would be a very positive outcome. I shall lead our forces into battle, my lord. I've heard men speak well of me because I do not throw lives away needlessly and I gain victory for those who follow me. I will not use false modesty and deny these things. Indeed, I say proudly that they are true. I will give you victory if you have the guts to fight like devils when I ask it. These rebellious knaves and villains are not fit to breathe the same air as we honest Englishmen. They must all die before dawn comes again. This is a mercy because they richly deserve the gallows for turning against their betters. And now, say your last prayers. Put your trust in your fellows and in good steel too. Then let us march to whatever God wills. Well, one of my guys is carrying a torch. I guess he's planning on starting a fire or something. Anyway, let's get ready to go. Ready to rumble, ready to tumble and fumble. A nice hill we've got as well. Very advantageous for my archers. Archers, have fun on the hill because the enemy crossbowmen definitely will not. Spears, you're more or less the same as each other, sir. Group up. I'll have them try and deal with the sergeants, but not the armoured variety. That will be for my cavalry to play with. Even though they're technically an anti-cavalry unit with their spears, if we hit and run, we should be able to just play the morale game against them. Either way, here are my lovely mailed knights, by the way. Not the fanciest knights in the world, as you can see, but their armor is good enough for now, and I assume they'll pack a nice little punch. Probably at the level of about, I don't know, Sacred Band cavalry, because I'm comparing everything to Carthage still. Let's move. Archers, make your position on the hill and prepare to fire upon the enemy. Spears, you need to be nearby to provide support. Cavalry, prepare to make your manoeuvres. Well, I'm going to tighten up your formation a little bit, so get yourselves over there. Hopefully the enemy crossbow men just can't be bothered today. Anyway, archers, I wish you the best of luck. I don't know why some of you are carrying torches. Are you guys, like, got cataracts or something? Can you, like, just not see daylight or something? What are sending forward, by the way? The crossbowmen are coming. Archers, open fire. They won't hit us here. 
these if that's how crossbows arc. Spears, just be right behind them and ready to go. Let's get some volleys out. And we do not need to be using the fire arrows today. I know they look cool, but go for just nice regular kill shots. Oh, there. These crossbows are annoyingly somewhat well armoured. I suspect my archers might actually not have a good chance against them. Let's see what the next volley brings us, if it ever turns up. It did turn up, it was on fire again. Well, the fire arrows are somewhat effective. They're maybe more effective than, it, than regular arrows could ever be if these guys are armoured. I mean, they've they put the weakest unit, the uh, Sarge Spears, who I'm just going to call out as being Levy Spears, because, yeah. They're probably just Spears with slightly higher morale. Um, yeah. I'd want to hit them with my arches, but I don't know, maybe... I just want to see if a regular volley does any good, if one's coming at any point. It's not exactly the easiest place for me to hit. I'm seeing a one or two arrows coming down, but I'm not really scoring many hits, which is understandable. Well, I'll tell you what, if I've got a hard enough tap hit, you know what? Switch on the flaming arrows. I feel like it gets a target that's uh, armoured and probably not going to... Your arrows are just going to bounce off. Maybe some flaming arrows might do a bit better. I don't think we're going to spook anyone off, but... Um, flaming arrows have their uses. So let's use them. Especially since the enemy does not seem to be intending on meeting me on top of the hill. Is that volley coming out any time, lads, by the way? Are we getting ready to fire? Yeah, there it goes. It's, it pretended to go. Guys, I know when you're just pretending to fire arrows. Come on, don't, don't mock me like this. Guys, sending invisible arrows does not please me. Move up if you can't hit them. Like, seriously, guys, this is just, like, fucking stupid, right? Move up. We can tempt the crossbowmen into a fight anyway. Just want you to make sure you're able to hit something. I mean, we're getting close to arcing now, so we might be able to make a hit now. Prepare to volley, men, and do a good job of it this time. Archers, ready! Excellent, we're getting some shots out for once. Right, we're setting a few of the enemy on fire. We're lured them into a fight as well, good. Keep hitting them, keep hitting what you can. I think the enemy's getting a little panicked about what we're doing. It'll keep them out of formation. Dude, that is not a safe place to put your torch. You're going to set your crossbow on fire, you daft nit. Oh, well, whatever. What do I care? It's a crossbow they're setting on fire. Uh, right. It's nice to watch the enemy get caught on fire. I guess fire arrows on this game are slightly more effective than the ones on Rome. Uh, I might just stop comparing everything to Rome. But then again, I've only just stopped playing it, and I'm already missing it. Yeah, but I love this game still. It's a good game. Oh, well, Sadio is trying to get ready to uh, fire a few volleys of her own. And I still think they've got a cat in L's chance of hitting us, so we should be alright. I hope. Are we going to get hit over here? Well, one of my guys definitely just got smashed, but yeah. Alright, I lost two men, but I think overall we're going to come out on top on this in this engagement, so keep it up, men. Keep it up. Because I tell you what, I'm going to do something, a nice little bonus for you. Rufus, get your ass over here. I've got something for you to do. I'm going to send in the mail knights just yet. I'm going to save them for the end. Rufus should be capable of just one shot of these guys. But for now, we'll just have him move in. My archers don't seem to be losing much from these crossbows, mainly because, well, it's, it's, they're, they're not on a favourable angle of fire. I'm not really on a favourable angle of fire either, just because of where I'm stood, but... We're still pulling off enough hits. I mean, we can kind of see them, so yeah, it's just kind of the curvature of the earth is just working against us. Anyway, one more volley, lads, and then I'm bringing in Rufus. Actually, you know what? Bring Rufus in now because the crossbow and I've noticed him. Cease fire. All right. I'm going to take maybe one or two losses here, but no, nope, my man just tanked it. Right, get in there, bring down the crossbows, and get out. Excellent, the crossbows have routed. Okay, get yourself out of there. Archers, I want you to move up now and start harassing the armoured sergeants. Make sure you can hit them first. Don't bullshit me for like five minutes, sir. I won't run them because their morale's already beginning to sap from their uh, exercises for today. Looks like we've got the attention of the enemy anyway, right? You can probably start firing from there. 
General, you just line up near my near my spears. Mailed knights can do the same. Right. Getting a few shots out. There we go. Fighting the armor side just now, so I think setting these guys on fire will be smarter than just trying to have my arrows just bounce off them for ages. So keep it keep it up, lads. Keep shooting. Come on. Please. These are some good shots, right? Spears, I'm gonna have you move up. Be prepared to uh, defend my archers because they're gonna have to skirmish away in a minute. The skirmish when I say so. That they're gonna try and sneak their crossbowmen back up. Okay. You can try that if you wish, but Rufus. Oh wait, they're running away. See, the name Rufus scares them now. Right. Keep these shots up. The enemy's holding position. I want to deal with those crossbowmen, but right now the spears are too close. Don't wish to tangle with them just yet. But while the enemy's being completely disorganized, get a volley in their backs. Good shot. See many bird bodies now. Right. You go and deal with those crossbowmen. They're pulling away too far from their formation. We might be able to move in and sneak up on them. Archers, keep up the fire. Rufus, you're going in and out. Your name is Rufus again, isn't it? No, you're not fucking Rufus. You're the other one. You're Robert! I am not very good at naming remembering the names of my own children, which is why I probably shouldn't have children. Right, keep moving, cavalry. Don't let the Sergeant Spears keep up with you. Send them on a little merry chase while we shoot them and set them on fire. This is an outcome I find extremely favourable. Right, keep moving. They're going to try and target the male knights. One more volley, lads, and then I'm sending you guys in. I'm actually just getting there now. Archers, focus fire on the armoured sergeants. Well, then again, you know what, archers, get yourselves out of there. I think you've done your part for today so far. Spear militia, get in there. Mailed knights, prepare to flank. Robert, get in there and help out your, your spears. Help out your levy because they're not going to last long against see these sergeant spears. Right. To try and hit the armoured sergeants. Bring down some of their numbers. Mailed knights did not really make the best impact in the world. Pull out and have another go at that one, please. Managed to make an impact on those sergeant spears, but yeah, the uh, cavalry charges here are do not seem to be very um, if we've only half the enemy force remains. The enemy general has no honour. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Good. Bring down what's left of the sergeant. The men have captured. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Kill them all. Get your experience in, lads. Um. By the way, I don't really care if we capture the enemy general when he's a rebel. It ain't worth anything to us. He's just a fucking brigand. Kill him. Well, actually, we're going to put him on the gallows, weren't we? Yeah, make an example of him. Do whatever you wish with him. Alright, lads. Keep it up. Kill them all. Kill, kill, kill the kill. Right. You. Keep chasing down. How are we doing over here? Knights, just keep it up. The more chasing we do, the better we've done. Finish this one off once and for all. Bring down every last man. Looks like we're a crossbow and an escape. All right, I'll let that slide for now. Either way, Robert, you're becoming quite experienced in battle now, but my archer sadly did not gain any experience. That's a bit of a shame. I thought they performed adequately well today. Are we out of the battlefield with those guys yet? Who, who's left in here? Who's left? Some twat over here, right? What's left? This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valour. Good hunting, men. We've secured Normandy for a little longer. Now let's make... Well, prepare to make our move against the friends. But, excellent victory there. Our losses were minimal, and the enemy losses were heavy. 203 kills and 176 captures as well. But, they will be put to death. Glorious victory is ours, sire. Very glorious. Your will, sire. Make your way back to Cayenne, Robert. Command. We'll deal with you later. Continuing tomorrow, Cayenne, sire. do not do anything silly while he is away. Continue recruiting some levy spears for your defensive purposes, sir. Right. I think that's a good position to call this a turn. Not really. There's still things to do. Uh, York. We are now a Mott and Bailey. 
Let's start working on a mustering hall in order to recruit more peasants. Well, that's a lot of fucking fun, but what we need is... Oh, we can recruit Hubilars already. That's nice. Um, but what we need is... Why can we not recruit them right now? All right, we, we've maxed out our Hubilars. I don't think I've recruited a single fucking Hubilar in the world, though. Uh, right, yeah, but... Anyway, let's start building up at York and make sure we've got enough troops to deal with we deal with the Scots if they get angry. Nottingham, you've worked on your population growth. Let's get some roads set up so we could just get up and down the area really fast. You know, let's get these essentials set up. I could recruit some Hobie Lars, by the way, but to be honest, they look a bit shit. Uh, but it comes from the Norman name Hobby, which were the small horses that Gaelic troops rode in Scotland. They rode Hobby Horses. Hobilars are light cavalry who support knights, but they're not really supposed to be relied on. They're really only good for chasing them. They're light cavalry. I'm not really much of a light cavalry fan, though then again I do see that they have their uses. Perhaps they may have use against the lighter Scottish troops. I'll give it a benefit of a doubt for now and I'll recruit some Hobilars, but if they let me down in battle, I can tell That's you now right. I won't be recruiting them very often. London, let's see, what shall I have you work on now? There's a lot of fun buildings to work on, such as a brothel, a market, ports, land clearance. I feel like getting a growth up's a good idea. Let's work on some land clearance for now. Cayenne, you know what you're doing, tired right? Tired of ordering your own forces about? I am never tired of ordering my own forces about, you swine. Your Majesty. Uh, yeah, I think that's everyone sorted out, really. So, we're going to prepare to make a move on land when we can. Um, we can't recruit any spies here. I guess it's the, uh, something that we use. Won't be a chapel. Uh, we'll work out what it is at some point that we need. Uh, I think it's probably going to be like the brothel or the inn or the market or something, isn't it? Let's have a little look see look see uh, Market. No, that's for merchants. Brothel. Spies. We use the brothel for spies then. Okay, that makes sense. I guess you, you, you can't really build brothels in castles because it'd be a bit distracting. That might mean we need to get hold of a city in continental Europe, which I guess Bruges could be used for. We'll see. Either way, I think that is a nice area to call it a turn now, because Cecilia Lord. will continue her move Post up haste, north, uh, because there isn't really a lot for her to do. But there is Prince Edward I'm having not a. Someone you want to be bothering. No, but I could be asking you to marry me. Cecilia, seducing. I am ready to approach. Yeah, you are always ready to approach. Approach him. Am I to win over hearts or heads? Both. Oh well, we'll deal with him next time. But perhaps Prince Edward could be a useful asset to me. Anyway, let's us move on to the next turn. For I do not think there is anything left for us to action right now, and observe the world once more. Lord, this is a perfect position to ambush. 
Well done, whoever's planning to ambush, but you're supposed to be heading back to Cayenne, so yes, sir. get your ass back in Cayenne, please. And then work on retraining your men and make sure they are up to speed and scratch. We could also now recruit Bill men, by the way, who look kind of cool. Look like they've just been dragged out of thief, but whatevs. At least they're not zombies. Um, anyway, Bill men. The bill hook was originally developed as a farming tool. It consists of an axe and a hook on the end of a long pole. Sounds like a halberd, actually. A trained billman can use it to stab, hack, and drag down his enemies, including both infantrymen and cavalry. It's excellent as both a defensive and offensive weapon, and it's good in the woods or the snow. So something of a barbaric weapon. It's also good against armor. This could be useful for us. Recruit a billman, please. I want to see them in action. And I think we may need to disband some of these spear militia that cannot be retrained. And again, I'll leave them for now because they've got numbers. And hello there, a French version called Guillaume Gendeur. Um, and also the Scottish are up to something fishy. They're massing their strength, but then they're all disappearing at the same time. I wonder if they're off to see. I'm never going to go and attack the Danes or something. Either way, I think it's something I should be in the know about. Here's where we rank in the world, by the way. Uh, we somehow tumbled in military. We're down to 16th now. Um, and Russia is now the richest power and the Byzantines continue to kick ass. In terms of construction pop, by the way, Nottingham has dirt roads, Cayenne a drill square and York a mustering hall. In terms of recruitment, Nottingham has Hobilars and Cayenne some levy spears. Excellent. Right. Richard, move into Scotland and find out wherever did all the Scottish go. Well, I think they're all on that boat, actually. Led by Admiral Donald. Hmm. Well, there's King Malcolm's on there. Right, so where is the good prince? Then, there's a guy in Edinburgh. Now we cannot infiltrate the fleet, and that's where Prince Edward is, as well as Edward Carmor. Hmm. What are the Scottish up to? This is a very odd tactic. Daughter of the Crown. Perhaps we can. I am ready to approach. I know. I don't want you to marry. No. Move into diplomacy. Go ask the king if you can bang his son or something, because I would like to marry him. He is handsome. Not really, but he's, wor he he he's worth things to me. But then again, if a Scottish move away, this could be tactical folly, and I could move in and capture Edinburgh. What is it you wish to talk about? Can I marry you? Can I marry your son? Apparently, this is very generous, by the way. You can have my daughter's hand in marriage. This seems quite acceptable. We are now allowed with a Scottish via marriage. A pleasure, noble sire. Good, good, good. This buys me time to work on Carnavian in Ireland, and perhaps Ivaness if a Scottish get ignorant. Where to, Richard, I want you to position yourself near Ivaness, and I want you to report on Scottish movements in the area. Still, nice to see that I've married into the Scots family. Perhaps, as uh, well, like I said, hedging my bets may be the wiser option. For I do not trust the French, and there could be an enemy quite soon. Either way, England and Scotland have now formed a military alliance, and we are now married. A royal wedding. How brilliant. It was a good Catholic wedding as well, so the, so the Pope shouldn't get narky about this. I still sit quite nicely with the Pope. 
the French are waning, but the Holy Roman are at least making um, some gains still. If I'm better than the French, that gives me an excuse to nag on them. And relations have improved. We are now having good relations with the Scottish. I am happy about this. And also, securing an alliance quite early on in the campaign may prove most beneficial to us. This will also give me more time to focus on Cayenne and capturing Ran, as well as Carnivion. So, that is my priority for now. While the Scots are happy, do I get to see their family tree? Can I, like, spy on it? Uh, yeah, we are now... Prince Edward is now in the mix for... Naturally, he's still controlled by the Scottish. He has not, because he's, well, the heir. Still, I'm happy that we have a nice alliance, because that will keep the Scots sweet for us. And perhaps at some point I can use this to fabricate a claim to the throne. Right. How shall we play out the rest of his turn? For there are not many battles to deal with. Well, it's going to be an admin turn then, I guess. I don't really have a lot going in a way in military in London. If we're to take Carnavion, we need some better infantry. We need armoured infantry or something. And cavalry. But our options are waning. I mean, spear militia are all well and good, but I guess the upkeep's free. Or at least, no, it isn't free anymore. I guess we can only support up to three units for, for chips, so I'll leave it at that. I think for now we'll just focus on improving London's economy. Nottingham should be our point of call, really, for making new units. So, recruit some additional mailed knights, and we are going to work on a garrison quarters in order to begin recruiting levy spears. If we can improve that up to being a drill square, we can send some bill men, which might be enough to win over the Welsh. Uh, York, you should be up... Oh, we could upgrade you up to a wooden castle now, which gives additional wall defences, better public order, and more recruitment slots. So it now actually allows us to trail male knights and hobilars. I like the idea of that. Let's start upgrading to a wooden castle, though we should do land clearance right after, but I'm not going to queue it because that's wasting money. But I would like to make sure we get uh, land clearance up because it's all well and good about having access to a great, great unit. But if there's no men physically existing, that's where an issue is going to occur. Uh, I should also work on a market soon. I want to get some merchants spread out across the British Isles and make me some more money. I wonder what that merchant's up to. I think these guys can interact with each other, but at I don't know service. what they do. Oh, we can acquire his assets. How good are you at merchanting? Not very good. He's a bean counter. Hmm. Well, I don't want to send him to do something silly then. I think for now I'll keep him at bay. Aston! Yes, your highness. Perhaps I should send you a pilgrimage or something. There's honestly not a lot for you to do here. I'm happy with the amount of religious satisfaction I've got here. Perhaps I should send you somewhere where the lands aren't so Catholic. Joining the fleet, sire. Maybe we could go and piss off Russia or something. Or the Moors. But a good cardinal should spread God's word across these lands. Make landing in Bordeaux, and That's then safe. I'll find something else we need to do. It'll also just be worth using him to explore. That being no said, I should make sure there's at least one priest knocking around, so I should probably work on an abbey or a church or something. But I think it'd be a nice idea to send a, send a little church yes, dude on, a, on an exploration mission. What do we know about Burgundy, yes, by the way? Sire. Perhaps there'll be someone to talk to nearby, or I think it's actually just fallen to France, so... Nope, Dijon remains a rebel city, right? Well, I don't really care about Dijon anyway. Keep making your way Without towards question, Italy or the Holy Roman Empire. They must be somewhere around here. Oh, well, it's still early days. Everywhere's still going to be quite rebel-y, isn't it? Either way, I think we are close Hi, to the end of another turn once more, so I feel that we should uh, move on to this next turn and see what it offers. Uh, but then again, Cayenne, you could work on something. A chapel would allow us to train priests like I was thinking of. That's a good idea. Stables would allow us to train Hobilars. A bowyer would give us access to archers. I need to replenish my archers. So yeah, do work on a bowyer, please, or a bower. That would be a that would be a wise idea. And then I'm not sure if we can build a market here. Uh, what's our building browser like? Let's have a little look. Uh. 
I guess this is all we can build in castle. So we can build the castle itself. We can build up the towers, stables, barracks, ranges, sieges, smithies, ports, roads, farms, churches. I guess I can't go very far. We could only go up to having a chapel rather than a church. Build tournament fields, swordsmiths, guilds, templars, hospitaliers. Crusades aren't too far away, by the way, in terms of a year. Let's see, where are we up to now? What year is it? Seriously, what fucking year is it? I don't even know. It's turn four, which is means shit all to me. Um, I don't know what year it is. Must be sort of like 1086 or something by now. Uh, Susie, where the hell do you find the... Um... Susie, where do you legit find what year it is? Where's my calendar? Do I not have a calendar? I have to judge it off whenever people die and I can use that to spot check. That's a bit odd though. You 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 would think there is a there would be a calendar uh, of some sort it's just to let me know what the hell year it is because yeah. But again, I guess a calendar wasn't really a thing yet. But yeah, historically the Crusades are probably a good maybe 20 to 30, 40 years away-ish. Um, because I'm actually reading a fascinating book about the Knights Templar, which I'll, I'll talk about more actually when we get into that part of the game because. I'm learning so much about the Knights Templar, and they are such an interesting bunch. Um, but for now, I think I am happy on calling that a turn, apart from York. But we don't have any recruitment to do here, apart from peasants. But I'm not... I'd rather not recruit them. I'd rather just chop my own hand off or something before doing that. London, is there nothing you can recruit? Yeah, I don't really want... Yeah, I don't really want these militia units for now. Okay, we can call that a turn, then. I will see what happens. Looks like the French are regaining control of their areas, though, so we need to be wary of them. Especially now that I have chosen the Scottish as my ally. I should have maybe been a bit better with my diplomat, but... Hmm. I feel like princesses may be the more easier route of getting an alliance. But it depends on how often I can crank out a daughter. Something which I don't have a lot of control of. Hmm. Either way. I think I would prefer courting fair with the Holy Roman Empire. For my ambitions to see France being annexed and Marseille becoming my port of shipping off crusaders to Jerusalem in the future. Since I need to I need to have a plan of some sort in place for grabbing Jerusalem since I'm here and Jerusalem's all the way over here, so it's a bit of a big ask really. Either way, let's move on to the next turn now and see if there's anything that needs actioning immediately. So it seems that my merchant got vaporised, which is a bit of a shitter. Uh, they were seized. Hmm. Right. Well, he wasn't really worth much to me anyway. He was only worth 36 fucking florins a turn. Still, I should have been more proactive on that one, but I wasn't really aware that was the kind of thing that happened. Oh well. Still, the Scottish seem to be... What is it, my friend? I don't know, my friend. So it looks like Patrick McDougall and Co are heading south. I wonder if they were originally planning just to rock up at London and attack me, but I think they're heading for Bruges. An odd thing, but then again, the old alliance was kind of a thing, but I don't think this was how it worked. Oh well. Let the Scottish go where they want for now. We're friends. And a turn report, and if it actually if they if they start knocking on France, then all the better. Um, yeah, we're not really doing too well in here. Money's a little tight, so we need to be watching our spending a little better. Um, because, yeah, France remains number one military power. Slight concern. London has produced me this lovely patch of dirt, though, which will allow us to organise some farming. 
And in terms of recruitment, we've got Mail Knights in Nottingham, Billmen in Cayenne, and then some retraining. Okay, good. Cayenne's military is getting closer to completion. Once that boy is done, I think we'll make our move with some Mail Knights, Billmen. I want more Billmen if I'm honest, but. Oh, we can recruit more Billmen! Get more Billmen! Excellent. Two Billmen will be a fantastic force for taking lands. Provided the town isn't building itself back up or something desolate like that. Admiral Chips Giles, ready. do you really have nothing to do? Go blockade Bordeaux yes, or sir. something. Let's go for a little wander. What are you, by the way? You're a cog. No more wind today, sire. Little coggy cog. Okay. We'll drop oh, wait, you were carrying morning, something, sire. weren't you? You are carrying my bishop. Oh, well, we're sending him to our beer here anyway. Get moving. We can go no right. further this day, sire. Looks like the French are regaining control of their local area by when Napoleon making Your a move Majesty. on Dijon. Keep moving. Yes, sire. Keep moving. Tomorrow's See if we journey can find someone planned else who's out, more sire. interesting. Tomorrow's journey planned out, sire. Thank you, sire. Ivan S still remains a temple target. I honestly could just backstab the Scottish so hard right now, by the way. And I honestly kind of feel like I should have done that, but um Yeah. I honestly should have fucking backstabbed him. Oh well, I'm aligned with him. For now I'll make them my friends. Cause I wanna worry about the French for now. Dear Uh okay. So, Cayenne, you're doing things that you should be doing. Nottingham, our troops are being built up. Would like more billmen built into the army, world, which is why I work on that garrison's quarter. I mean, even if we just lump off a load of spear militia, that might be alright anywhere. Yeah. I kind of think, actually, yeah, if we just send loads of spear militia. I think if we just try and overwhelm with spears, that might work. So, if we do that, I mean, I think we, I think we actually just get two per turn, so... That's a nice thing. I also begin working on a new merchant um, on the next turn. I know I'm queuing. Actually, do it later, right? Um, what shall I build next? I did say I want a market. A church would be useful as well, so we could start recruiting priests. Yeah, do work on a church in London so we can recruit a new priest just to uh, keep the peace and maybe one day become a cardinal. Um, Nottingham. Yeah, you've got nothing to do for the minute. Uh, and York, you are currently working on your upgrade. So, yeah. Looks like we're still waiting for things to do, really. But I am going to start... Orders. I need to send these guys off for retraining. You know, I'm going to lump this unit together and just merge it. Um, yeah, tell you what. Since we don't have too much to worry about with the Scottish right now, I'm going to send these spear militia wish. south. And they can join in can on the attack no on Carnavian because I want to do that one quite soon. I definitely want to get hold of that territory. KN, we're going to wait until we have more billmen. And maybe one more unit of peasant archers. Yeah, one billman, one peasant archer. Yeah, I mean, well, two billmen, two peasant archers. Two units of spear militia. And we'll just leave the levy spears behind. Which could be quite hubritic of me, but... I think for now the French aren't too bothered about attacking. I think they're consolidating at the minute. Which does mean I need to make sure I'm making my own land grabs before things go wrong. But yeah. Either way, I think that is another place where we can call it a turn already. And continue to observe wherever are all the Scots going. Well, I assume they're going to Denmark. By the way, Linota Elliot, who is a young woman of fitting breeding and station, has been discovered as a potential partner for Robert. Robert, enjoy your new husband. She isn't French, is she? She doesn't sound very French. Have her, have her marry. And that gives us a new marriage celebration. Well done. Robert has married, and he doesn't even get his own video because he sucks. Either way, news of the royal wedding has made it. everyone happy, and everyone's inquiring if it's going to be a boy or a girl or... I don't know... Uh, right, end of turn report, by the way. Yeah, still losing a little bit of money, right? We're going to have to tighten that one up. Uh, but I'm happy to report that York has a upgraded its castle. Cayenne has a boyer. And Nottingham, some garrison quarters. In terms of recruitment, we've got Spear Militia in London. And Cayenne has produced me some billmen. Cayenne, could you work on a unit of peasant archers? And then we're setting off. In terms of construction, we should do something that could get us money. So maybe some dirt roads or uh, land clearance would give us excess food to sell. So do do that. London, you're working on that. I mean, 
yeah, our profits are minuscule at this moment in time, so... Uh, I need another town, really, shouldn't I? I kind of regret making York a castle now. I feel like I'm being a bit too um, short-sighted in some decisions. But then again, York's upgraded status means I can build up some land clearance to make some more trade. As I now have access to male knights and hobilars. Hold off on recruitment for York for now, though. I think we can Sire, we can wait. By your command. And Nottingham, what have I got now? I've got three spear militia, two mailed knights. I feel like that's almost enough, but I'm going to send in two additional spear Orders. militias. But I'm just sending in all the spear militias, so you two Sire, as well. Orders. Head up to Nottingham. Yes, and also then, yeah, so the unit peasant archers should do. My yeah, I'm going to send you lot Sire, off my to Lord. Nottingham. My Lord. Sire. Don't bugger it up, lads. Please. Oh wait, I can't move this. To right, next turn we're off, we're off to we're off a Carnavian. I feel like that's the goal of this episode, but I am going to call it a day soon because we are getting close to an hour. Either way, once more, I think I'm happy to call that a turn. We'll move out of Cayenne next turn, and I'm just going to hold position here and wonder where the Scots have gone. I think they're off to go and attack Denmark, basically. Which could be I'm potentially dragged into that war, which I'm not very interested in being dragged into because I don't hold Bruges yet, but we'll see what happens with that one. Yes, Lawrence, you're still moving. Galius, you head for Iberia. You're almost there now. No more wind Either today, way, sire. let us head on to the next turn and see what is occurring. Looks like some rebels have wandered into our land and are planning to ambush us. Tricky, tricky foes, but for now I'm not interested in them. Let a French patrol stumble on them. End of turn report, by the way, reads that money is still being lost, but we managed to seal the gap a little bit, so we might be doing a bit better. Trait decrease, William the Conqueror is now slightly less cruel. Well done, William. Uh, construction report, by the way, uh, London now has established its church, which I guess has made him less cruel. Anyway, we can start working on recruiting a new uh, Pope, but our profits remain quite edgy. Only 1,000 florins projected to come in, and I'm going to blow it all on the market as well because we need the trade. So we are going to do deal with that. Uh, apparently, our relationships with the uh, Papal States have now improved up to amiable, which I guess means the Pope likes me more. And yeah, he feels no ill will, but now he doesn't feel ill will against France, which is going to hinder me a little bit. He's still not keen on the Scots, though. It's also a ripe old 43. I wonder when he'll die. So I can get my dude in there. Well, then again, looks like other ones are doing better than me. Brian the Peaceful's quite um, up and coming. Aston isn't doing very well. Aston, we got God up your sword. game, but, you know, you're on your holy voyage, your holy pilgrimage to I cannot Spain. Reach there, sire. You can reach there. Impossible, my lord. Fleet Giles, ready, get sire. a move on. Oh, hello, Portugal. Um, I'm not attempting to knock nah, nah, on you, but I think I've run out. Yeah, I can't move out. Uh, damn it. I think you have the wrong fleet. I don't have a wrong fleet. I Ships just want you ready. out of the way, and I'm not starting a war with you over this. All right, we'll try and move out on another turn. Uh, by the way, recruitment. Uh, we have a nice photo of a stunned peasant archer in Cayenne. He's going to war in a minute. Uh, because, yeah. Right, Cayenne, let's move your troops out. So... Robert won't be leading, so I need him in Cayenne to govern the area in case of a French Sire. idiot attacks us. So for now, Orders. take the billmen, the mailed knights, uh, the peasant archers, and Orders. two units of militia spears. Sire. I feel this is enough this time to win the battle, so please don't let me down. As you wish, sire. Well, the council of nobles are watching us as well. I mean, we still have enough time. We have like 11 turns left, but let's get it done now. Because, hey, the French could be watching this territory and they we'll might want it for themselves. Here, right, Cayenne, uh, we need to work on... Well, I don't want to recruit anymore because I'm running out of money. But, yeah, do work on additional billmen just to make sure we have a garrison maintained. 
against possible incursion. Nottingham, let's My move Lord. out your army. Orders. So take all My these guys Orders. and Sire. move up on the Panavian. Nottingham is holding steady in terms of public order, at least, because it's a big old castle as well. It's a huge castle, actually. I'm going to have to have a look and see what level of castle we're playing with here. Because it's big, huge, amazing. We so, can go no further looks today, like Carnavion isn't increasing its infantry or its military. So we should we should take that area relatively comfortably. And then we can try and make a move on Ireland as well. I and mean, then that's really going to hemorrhage for Scots. I mean, then we can move on Ivaness. And then, you know, we'll, we'll still be friends with them, but they'll be a weakened friend. That we hold extreme dominance over, and I might be able to use them to for my own ends. Uh, what did I want to look at? I don't know. I wanted to click on something. I can't remember what now. It'll come back to me. Oh yeah, Nottingham. What level of castle are you? You're just a castle, castle. Well done on being a castle. It's a great achievement. Right, so we should be able to make our moves on Carnavian or Land next turn, or at least, you know, initiate our sieges. Uh, so, let's see where we're at in terms of money. We're going to lose money, so I don't necessarily want to spend any more of this turn, because there isn't really any other avenues of raising additional cash. But recruiting a merchant does, in a way, sound like sound logic, because he's pricey, but he'll make money for me in the long run. Have a merchant... Be trained up. I'll make use of him. I feel like I might have one navy too many, actually. I don't really see a use for that, but Nigel. He may be worth getting rid of, but then again, no. Tell you what, I'll disband Admiral Giles when he's when he's made his drop off. I have no further use for him. Anyway, let's move on to the next turn and observe everything once more and hope that Portugal doesn't start a random war with me for no fucking reason. So we've got some pirates incoming, just to be, well, annoying. Engage me, or be gone. It's a pirate ship. Hello there, pirates. Right. It's basically a cog that is just out to cause trouble. I don't think Admiral Ice Nigel will stand up to it, though, so for now we'll leave it alone. By the way, we are now even better with the Scottish because, well, we just get on with the Scottish really well. Which makes me happy. And we're still doing all right with Pope Gregory. The Grego Popo. Uh, end of turn report, by the way. Yeah, we're losing cash, so we've got to definitely once more plug that up. But hopefully, if we're taking a rands, will help us up. And Cayenne and York's new land clearances may also bring in a few bits of supplementary cash. Cayenne has recruited a buildman, by the way, a London, a new merchant. So, are you any good at your job? Philip of Dunwich, which is already a worrying name. Let's have a little look at him. Philip of Dunwich. He's good with money, but he doesn't know how to fucking bat. Right, well, Philip, you're going to do At some trading. Service. What's in the local vicinity for you to trade? There are some sheep. Sheep will get me nine florins per turn. That's pretty crap. Then again, maybe uh, maybe if he gets... Maybe if he trades, he gets better, and then he can spin me some better goods or better prices. Go trade for a little bit and see if you get any better at your job, which I hope is the case. Otherwise, I've wasted a lot of money on you, and it's going to take me forever to get my return on investment. Yes, sire. We'll start sending these to England at once. But they're already in England. I guess we're supposed to trade foreign, and then we get more money. Maybe we trade in Bruges. I like the idea of that, but there's pirates in the way. We'll see what comes about. Right, Giles, Set's looks ready. like you can make your landing now without the Portuguese getting narky at you. Leaving the ship, my lord. Land the Cardinal. Yes. Aston, your make your way Lord's south. Speak. Learn about the Spanish, which ev everything's still quite Catholic here. And I'm not sure if these guys are at war with each other. Captain Jesus and Captain Martin. Oh, God. Um, yeah. I don't think anyone's at war with anyone, actually. Everyone's still quite peaceful. This could be the first conflict in the entire it's map. Ready, right. 
I wanted you disbanded, by the way, because I have no more use for you. So, uh, disband. Because I, I, I don't think you'll merge with Admiral Nigel. I can somehow see, just see that's not going to happen. So, getting rid of him means I'm not paying his upkeep anymore. I don't really see the need for two navies at the minute. Uh, so where does that put me in terms of money now? It might actually put me a little bit better. Yeah, my finances aren't too bad. We've got over a thousand florins to spend. But for now, Captain Joffrey, can you move on, friends, and initiate your siege, please? Laying siege, sire. Two battering rams will do just fine for this siege. I have an idea on how to take the city. Maintain the your siege, siege and await for further fire, orders. Sorry. The enemy's still quite worn down in terms of numbers anyway, but at least I'll install a decent garrison in Torlan anyway, since, you know, I'm a bit lacking in characters and generals and stuff. Uh, and as for you, Captain orders. Mosca, moving on Carnavian as well as and do wish, the sir. same. But I think with Carnavian we may be dealing with different bits of uh, equipment, but I don't know. Sea, yeah, Carnavian has actual walls, so we're going to need ladders and stuff. A siege tower would be tempting as well, but the amount of longbowmen there are, I think they'll just set fire to it, so... One, two, three, four, five, right, five, five siege ladders will do just fine then. Maintain your siege and await for further siege orders, please. Reporting, my lord. Right, so we're going to siege those on the next turn, but we're going to deal with that on the next episode, my friends, because we are just about the end. So let's just see what we could do over here. Like I said, we've got a thousand in profits to spend, so um, we'll see what there is that is absolutely essential. Because I do, I think I really want to just now play the economic game at the minute. Uh, so we're working on the market here. Nottingham could work on some communal farming as well. Uh, how much is it? How much? Oh, fuck, man. Building set you back so far. Um, but yeah. They're going to work for making me a bit more money, hopefully. I mean, let me have a look at the details. Like, money. Where's it coming from? Taxes and harvest makes some. So yeah, we do make a little bit from harvest. So yeah, work on a new farm. There's no recruitment to be done in England at the minute, but I am, I am just going to... I know it's going to cost me money, but I, I, I feel that we need to continue recruitment in Cayenne. Hopefully taking around and Carnavian will open up additional routes of income. Carnavian I may convert into a city, in fact, and use that as a nice little trading port. Since an alliance with the Scots means I can probably lower my guard a little bit. But I'm going to keep York and Nottingham as castles. For if we need to make incursions against the Danes or anything. So, yeah. But, I think Carnavian and Ireland would make better cities. And Sim might actually go for Ivaness. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you really need something to do, Sire. Richard. But you have a 50% chance. Oh, 75% chance of infiltrating. But, I don't know. It's, it's, but it's not nice to infiltrate other people's shit. Tell you what. Have a little peekaboo on the Scottish Cardinal. Do not fuck up with your 5% chance of fucking up. And then I might see if I can plant you in Ivaness soon. Just want to build up your XP. Cardinal takes himself seriously if he's got this much of an armed guard around him, but okay. So Brian the Peaceful, he's definitely I feel like he's one of the favourites to become the next Pope, if I'm honest. He's got a lot of things, but he's actually quite orthodox. Um Yeah. Or at least he doesn't like orthodoxy. I don't know. Um basically he is going to be a challenger for Pope Hood, but then again. With Scotland being an ally, a Scottish Pope would probably still be quite nice to me. Okay. Try and get in Ivaness. It's a 50-50 chance. I think I'm just going to have to hedge my bets. Because you didn't get any XP, you loser. Either way. 
that is in fact where we are going to call it an episode for today, my friends. So, I know we only had one very minor battle, but hey, it's the early stages of a campaign. But hey, we're also about to say hello to Milan, Sire. so... Let's actually just go say hello Without to Milan question, now. Sire. Where is Milan? Well, it's here. It is Genoa. What's known as a city quite close to Segesta. Uh, right, say hello to the Genoese. Of oh, the Milanese. Find out what we know about the Milanese. Is there something I can do for you, well, Count Bernando, give me trading rights and your map information, and I think we will be uh, very, very, very happy. I see no problem here. It is agreed. Thank you. It seem you are very reasonable, sir. I am very reasonable. So we know about the Milanese or Milan and Genoa, and the Holy Roman Empire is just around the corner. I want to make friends with those guys. So Approaching their dignitaries. Let's move sire. in and start schmoozing them a little bit. I can't really make financial offers to them, but we may we may be able to make some sort of concession with them. Either way, that is actually where we are going to call it an episode for now, my friends. So, next time on Let's Play Medieval 2, we're going to take Carnavian and Renz and build up our holdings in France and England. See you there!